Bonjour mes amis, thanks for joining me on Survey Homestead again. I'm Dustin. I want to show you guys hopefully the final PTO repair on the old John Deere 2010. So we've had this tractor for a few years now. Um, it was a heavily used dairy farm tractor and we've been using it to cut grass and drag fallen limbs and things around. But I hit some thick grass about a year and a half ago and it killed the engine and when I started it up again I heard the terrible squealing from under the seat. I couldn't tell where it was coming from. It was louder when the PTO was off. When the PTO was on it was only intermittent but I needed to cut the grass so I kept going forward. Should not have done that. I should have dug into it. At that time I didn't even know that there was an oil reservoir for the PTO gears back there. So it ended up having the major failure you can watch the video on how we got the tractor and on the first repair. So failure happened again, I think because the metal was wallowed out where the intermediate gears pin sits in the housing on one half of the housing. So this time I'm gonna to try to weld that up, put it all back together. Let's get into it. By the way, my goal is to help people who like to fix things. So if this information is helpful to you, please subscribe. Thanks. So because this is cast iron, I preheated it in the oven in the house, which was a bad idea because all the oil residue was burning off and making toxic smoke. I got it to around 300 degrees, took it outside and prepared it for welding. So first I needed to make sure that I would have enough depth in there with adding this metal washer. So my idea is to weld this metal washer to provide some support to the end of that gears pin. And I need to make sure it won't make everything too thick. It looks like I have enough space. So I shaped the washer up so that I could have the edges where I needed them to be to weld them to the PTO housing. So here you can see how the edges of the housing are wallowed out. I used a piece of fig branch to take up the space in the middle and I added some filler weld. Not pretty, but it did take up some space. I smoothed it out, made sure the pin fit, and then I welded on the washer. This is my uncle's um, stick welder. It's a simple one. I had to convert it to 120 volts and the only rods it would burn are these, are these 16th inch rods while it's on 120 volts. But it worked. And here you can see it's still a little bit thick. It might hit when I put it all together. So I ground that uh, steel washer down a little bit more, made a new gasket, and we put it all back together. So we went ahead and put it all back together. And I found out this one important thing. That hole at the pin for the intermediate gear is supposed to have a bolt in it. I saw it on a Blue Ribbon Garage video. Mine had nothing in it, it was just filled with gunk. So I think that bolt is to take out the slack in the length of the pin. I don't know why they didn't just make the pin longer, but just know that bolt needs to be there. And the weight of the, the three-point lift cylinders is so great that it cracked the ceiling joist in our shed. So we had to prop it up with a post. Time for a test run. Start it up, old John. And here we go. Hey guys, it's me. If this content is helpful to you at all, please consider subscribing to the channel. We would really appreciate it. Thanks. PTO engaged. Sounds fine to me. The tractor runs loud anyway. I couldn't hear anything. It seemed to be running very, very smoothly, so I was really excited. Now we just need to hook up the little bush hole, try it out, cut some grass. I'm so excited. We have a lot of grass to cut, and it was way overdue at this time. So it was nice to get one section done. Is the old John Deere 2010 synchro shift system. Oh yeah. 
bread and grass. So satisfying. Well, thank you all so much for watching Survey Homestead. I hope this helps somebody out. Hopefully you don't have as much trouble as we did with this. But I hope this helps you out if you do need to dig into the gears uh, in your John Deere 2010 PTO. Take care, and we'll see you all on the next one. Au revoir.